Welcome to the Resilient Retail Game Plan, a podcast for anyone wanting to start, grow or scale a profitable creative product business with me, Catherine Erdley. The Resilient Retail Game Plan is a podcast dedicated to one thing, breaking down the concepts and tools that I've gathered from 20 years in the retail industry and showing you how you can use them in your business. This is the real nuts and bolts of running a successful product business, broken down in an easy, accessible way. This is not a podcast about learning how to make your business look good. It's the tools and techniques that will make you and your business feel good, confidently plan, launch and manage your products, and feel in control of your sales numbers and cash flow to help you build a resilient retail business. Welcome to the Resilient Retail Game Plan. I'm your host, Catherine Erdley, as well as the founder of the Resilient Retail Club. The Resilient Retail Club is my membership group and consultancy for product businesses. You can find out more about my one-to-one services, including mentoring and business audits at resilientretailclub.com, as well, of course, about the membership. And if you use the code 10podcast, that's one zero podcast, you can get £10 off your first month. And I'd also love to invite you to pre-order my new book, Tame Your Tiger, How to Stop Your Product Business Eating You Alive. The official launch date is the 21st of February. There's a pre-order link on my website. Go check it out. I have to say, I will admit that bookshop.org, which I link you to from my website, are actually shipping them early. So if you want to get your hands on it as soon as possible, then go ahead and click on the pre-order link from my website. But the official launch is the 21st of February. Please keep your ears peeled for a very special podcast episode to celebrate the launch day uh, where I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be interviewed all about the book. I can't wait for that. So today's episode is a little bit of a mini episode this week. It is a reminder of four ways that you can get yourself ready for the springtime ahead. I think January is a really funny month in retail. And I think that one of the reasons that I do my plan your sales challenge, which is going on this week, one of the reasons I do it at the end of January is that I think a lot of the information that you hear about planning for your year ahead, it's not really aimed at product businesses. It's aimed at other types of businesses. So they tend to be putting that kind of information out at the end of December. Whereas in fact, for most product business owners, you go through December, which is of course a big rush, then you need some time to spend with your family, have Christmas. And then to be honest, a lot of people find January really tough burnout or just low motivation because probably you're tired. And yes, you may have had the Christmas holidays, but let's face it, when you've got family and it's full on and lots going on, it's not exactly as restful as you might think. So in my experience, a lot of people find January a bit of a quiet month where they can kind of recuperate a little bit and have a think. What I'm going to do is just suggest some steps to get you ready to move into spring, especially if you've not really felt like you've got 2023 off to a flying start. Not to worry, you're not alone. Lots of people feel the same way. The first thing that I wanted to say, and I wanted to put this in this episode because I know it goes out just before the January payday. And that is one of the best ways that you can get yourself ready for spring is to give your sale a really good final push. So if you've been running a January sale and you feel like, oh, you know, sales have been okay, but I've still got stock left and you're facing the reality of perhaps having to pack it all up or take it off the website again and wheel it out for a future sale event. This is your opportunity. If you listen to this podcast just before the payday is just go for it. Do yourself a final clearance. And by that, I mean, take the prices down. If you were at 50% off, can you go lower? If you were at 70% off, can you even go lower still? Could you price point it, for example? So could you sell something for three pounds? Just to get a price point out there, just to get it in front of your customers, make sure that you're sending at least a couple of customer emails over this weekend where it will be a payday weekend and just really tell them about your final clearance offers. Could you do 10% off extra or 20% extra off sale for your email subscribers? Just do what you can to give it a final push. I don't believe it's brand damaging. I believe that it's almost like the one time of year where you've got time to really move some of your stock. And I really encourage you if you're sitting here and you feel like, oh, it's been ticking over, but it's not been brilliant. Just hit it again harder. What can you do? Final clearance, final push. This is your opportunity to get some cash in the door. Don't worry about how much you paid for the item to start with. I know it's easy for me to sit here and say, but when you're doing a stock clearance event, it's not really about trying to make profit on the items that we've got in your clearance. And 
by the way, I'm assuming that you don't have a sale, which is money off everything, because that to me is not really the true definition of a sale. I'm assuming that you've got a clearance sale where it's a few items or maybe more than a few items that you know you don't want to carry forward. That's the kind of stock you just want to hit super hard right now. And as I said, I don't think it's seen as distressed by the customer. I think they understand it, that it's that final push for January. See what you can do to really get your stock out there and try and clear through some some things before the start of February. So that is my number one top tip is to really, really give it a final push. Make a big song and dance about it on social media. Talk about what great deal it is. Send out emails. Make sure you just give it that final once over because again you don't really get a chance another chance to try and shift some of this stock for quite a long time so i would suggest that if you've got a sale and it's been ticking over but it's not been brilliant you just hit it again harder number two is recap your january it can be a really tough month as i said from a motivation standpoint make sure you run your numbers actually go through and have a look and see how much money you took in january Make sure that you understand, you know, if you've told yourself, oh, it's so incredibly slow, is that true? Have you actually run the numbers? If you do think it's true or you are seeing that sales have declined, make sure that you really understand why. Is it a particular channel things aren't doing so well in? Is it particular products that aren't selling? What is it that's not working or vice versa? What is working? If you've had a great January, what what propelled that? This is a task that I think it's good to do at the end of every single month. But I think in January, it's particularly good because as I said, it can be a tricky month. And especially if things are slower than the pace that you've got used to at Christmas, you could have started telling yourself, oh, sales are just slow and this year is going to be really tough. But actually, if you take the time to recap January and compare it to last January, for example, then it may actually be better than you think. So take the time to do that. So then the third point is to start thinking about your plan for the rest of the year. If you've been in the challenge, the five day challenge, plan your sales. Uh, we've been having a great week coming up with ideas for the year. And if you're a Resilient Retail Club member, we have a special 2023 planning session coming up where we're going to go through your goals for the year with a special template. So lots to look forward to there. If you didn't take part in the challenge or you're not a member, then just please take some time to think about the year ahead. What do you want? What's your intention for the year? What would you be super excited about if it was January 2024, you were looking back and you had achieved? So think about all of those things. It doesn't have to be hugely detailed, but I definitely recommend that you go into this year with a clear intention and preferably with a clear sales plan. Again, if you get the book, Tame Your Tiger, then I go through a lot more about sales forecasting and planning in that. If you're in the challenge, then you probably already have a sales plan. But it's just a really great opportunity at this time of year to, to look forward, to look ahead and to set your goals. The fourth and final point is that making my mini episode this week is just really make sure you're ready for the gift giving seasons. I can't really stress this enough. I know last week's podcast was all about Valentine's Day. That is a very important gift giving holiday. But very quickly after Valentine's, you have Mother's Day. And very quickly after Mother's Day, you have Easter, if that is in fact relevant for your business. So just make sure that you are ready to go. And before you know it, it'll be Father's Day. This is a great time of year. If it, if it is a bit quieter for you to really take stock, make sure that you're ready. Have a look at your plans. Have you planned your marketing campaigns? Do you know what you're going to be talking about week by week in the spring into the summer? If you don't, then this is a great time for you to get ready and do that because really this is a peak. We we're about to head into the peak spring selling season. And if you miss it, it's going to be a long summer and a long autumn before the Christmas selling season comes through. We definitely have seen drops in discretionary spending, but we are still seeing people buying gifts for loved ones. So make sure that you are making the most of it with your products and that you are really getting out there and getting ready, getting on the front foot for the, especially Mother's Day. Lots and lots of you listening will have high concentrations of female customers. So Mother's Day is an absolutely crucial one for lots of you. The same with Valentine's Day. Make sure that you are really clear on what you can leverage in spring and that you are ready for it. There you go. As I said, just a quick episode today. Number one, make sure that you pre-order the book, Tame Your Tiger. Number two, 
give it that final push. If you've got stock hanging around, just what can you do to get it out of the door? Because the other thing I wanted to say as well about stock is that it takes up physical space. It takes up mental space. It takes up financial space in your bank account. And you really, really need to clear out your excess stock. As we go into 2023, this is going to be the year to be nimble, to have your stock under control. Make sure that you are really on top of this and that you get through what you can. We've only got a few days, so give it a good push. And as I said, I don't believe it's brand damaging, you know, for a handful of days to do a really big stock, uh, really deep discounts, but only on the items that you're trying to get rid of. So then the other thing I would suggest is making sure you've got your plan for the year. As said club members, you can come join us for the 2023 planning session. But whatever you do, just make sure you have your intention set. Make sure you look back at January, make sure you capture any lessons learned and make sure you are ready to go for the gift giving seasons ahead. I hope you have a wonderful end to January. I know it's felt like January payday has been a long time coming, which it has. So uh, go for it, go forth and push your stock and I'll see you next week. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, then I invite you to check out resilientretailclub.com. The Resilient Retail Club is the membership for anyone wanting to start, grow or scale a profitable product business. No more trawling Google trying to find the answers to your questions or wading through general business advice that speaks mainly to service-based businesses. Whether you're still at the idea stage or you've been going for a while but want to get more focused and organised when it comes to your business, the Resilient Retail Club is the place for you. With a library of courses tailored to creative product businesses, several live sessions a month and a supportive and active community, the Resilient Retail Club is the perfect membership to help you hit your goals faster. Check it out at resilientretailclub.com.